I was quite surprised when I found that there was a Highlander game for the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, and the Amstrad CPC. So I figured, why not give the Amstrad CPC version a whirl? As long as the machine doesn't stand for a complete piece of crap, how bad could it really be? Well guys, this has been a fun review. Nice talking to you. Bye! Alright, fine, I will review the fucker. Highlander for the Amstrad CPC, courtesy of our fucking friends at Ocean. Highlander is a fighting game divided into three different levels. In the first level, you face off against Ramirez. In the second level, you face off against Fazil. And in the final level, you face off against the Kurgan. But unlike most fighting games, you have to load each level into the computer separately. When you start the game up, you're treated to some music that could charitably be called ear-bleedingly bad. I don't know how it sounds on other versions of the game, but here it just sounds awful. Thankfully, though, there's no music while you're actually dueling. Otherwise, I think I'd fucking hang myself. Anyway, moving on to the fight with Ramirez, the background graphics actually look pretty good in my opinion. Alright, it's not going to win any awards, but at least they went to some trouble to make it look like the movie, so I'll give them credit for that. Even McCloud and Ramirez look like their movie counterparts, so that's another point for the game. The only thing I don't like about the graphics is that the swords look a little chunky and pixelated, but given the time that this game came out, I can live with it. Unfortunately, despite the merits of the graphics, the game's controls really suck. The first time I played this game, I had so much trouble figuring out the controls that I literally had to stand there and get my ass handed to me, or in this case, my head. I thought you had to use the keypad to control the character and the control button to slash, but as it turns out, that's wrong. You have to use the W, A, D, S, and X buttons on the keyboard. W is up, A is left, X is down, D is right, and S is strike. But even after I figured out what to do, the controls are still a fucking nightmare. They are so stiff and unresponsive that I actually thought my keyboard was broken for a while there, but no, they're literally that fucking bad. To do different types of sword blows, you have to press the attack button plus a direction. But the problem is that the moves seem completely arbitrary. In other words, it doesn't feel like you're fighting as McCloud. Instead, you're just responding to the attacks that Ramirez throws at you. Worse yet, the controls feel so friggin' laggy that I wasn't even sure my character was responding at all. For example, I try to bring my sword down on Ramirez, and maybe a second or two later, then he does the action. I tried to follow the manual suggestion of watching Ramirez's attacks, then blocking and countering them. But again, the controls are so fucking sluggish that my actions seem completely ineffectual. Finally, out of sheer frustration, I'm reduced to pointless button mashing. And the worst part is that sometimes I win through sheer lack of strategy. I just keep pounding the fucking buttons until the other character dies. Even the life meter on the bottom doesn't make any sense. As it turns out, it's not even a life meter so much as it is an energy meter. You start out in the green, and as you gain more blows against your opponent, their green goes down to yellow, and then to red. The more damage they sustain, the weaker their attacks become, and vice versa. However, your opponent will typically try to cheese you by pushing you into a corner so you can't fight back as well. The manual says not to let that happen, and that's nice and all, but there's just one problem. Once again, the controls are so fucking horrible and sluggish that I can't even move forward without the other character pushing me back. So even if I rush up and attack with everything I got, I still get knocked back into a corner. And the lack of response in the controls forced me to stay in that corner and get butchered like a fucking hog. Honestly, I don't even know why they bothered with the energy meter anyway. Why not just have a straight life meter that goes down as you get hit? But considering that they can't even make decent fucking controls for a sword fighting game, I'm probably expecting too much out of them. And the gameplay ain't anything to write home about either. You start out in Old Scotland, you fight against Ramirez, and either he kills you or you kill him. And this is a minor pissy point, but why is he killing you? I thought Ramirez's mission in the film was to train McCloud so that he could fight against the Kurgan at the gathering. But it's gonna be kinda hard to fight against the Kurgan with his fucking head lopped off! Ignoring that little departure from the film, I have to say that the gameplay is really fucking repetitive. I'm aware that fighting games by their very nature are repetitive, but at least most better fighting games do something different. They give you new opponents with different attacks, or they radically alter the fighting environment, or they do something different. But in this case, it seems like all three of your opponents are almost exactly alike. And the only difference is that Fazil and the Kurgan can kill you a little bit faster. I did try fighting a couple of battles with Ramirez to see if I could win anything, but the controls were so awful and the gameplay so repetitive that after a while I just said the hell with it. I don't know if you win anything after a certain number of battles, and frankly, I don't fucking care! Out of a perverse sense of curiosity, I decided to load up the Kurgan fight just to see if there was anything different about it. 
Nope, there's no difference, aside from getting killed off just a little bit faster. Oh, and yeah, they can't spell Kurgan right either. They must have consulted the irate gamer for this one. Still, out of some kind of madness, I just wanted to beat the son of a bitch once. And I finally managed to do it. Only took me about 70 fucking times. Considering how poorly made and boring this game is, I'm surprised they didn't go for a more hack-and-slash adventure type game like Ninja Gaiden. Then again, they probably would have found some way to fuck that up, too. You know, I would rather watch Highlander 2 The Quickening. Yes, that movie. I'd rather watch that than play this fucking game ever again. At least I know I'd derive some kind of pleasure out of it. So in conclusion, all I can say is this. You know how they say in the Highlander films there can be only one? Well, in the case of this game, there should have been none. This is Film and Stuff signing off. Thanks for watching. But it's gonna be kinda hard to fight against the Kurgan with his fucking head lopped off!